Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade iOS 16 to iOS 15 without losing any data and without needing a computer at all. So this is 100% bulletproof guys, you don't need a jailbreak your device at all. This is working on all versions of iOS 16 and all iOS devices as well. So basically with this you will be able to easily, simply um, get your device right back down to iOS 15. So um, Basically, I'm just going to show you guys, uh, we're going to be getting this tool right here. It's called iDowngrade, and that's what's going to help make us make this possible today. So I'm going to show you guys how to get this iDowngrade tool and sideload it onto your device. Like I said, no computers required at all, no data loss at all. Um, and yeah, you can do this all straight from your phone um, without connecting to anything or setting up anything or having to download anything else. Okay, guys? So um, before we get into it, I just want to show you guys I am on iOS 16 before we get started here. So uh, let me just pop open my settings here, okay? So uh, check this out. I'm on iOS 16.1.1 on my iPhone 12, and I have tested this tool with other iOS devices, so it is working on all iPhones and iPads um, as of today, okay, guys? So um, let's get into it, guys. Let me show you guys exactly how to get this done okay so um, I'm gonna show you guys how to download this tool first of all so the first thing you guys want to do is open up your browser and go to this website right here okay guys um, so just get this website typed into your browser uh, basically what this website is it has a bunch of free tweaked and paid apps for both iOS and Android that you can download without having to jailbreak or root your device so basically we're gonna be using this awesome website to um, side load the I downgrade tool over to our devices okay guys so, um, yeah, so just uh, get that website typed in, go ahead and click the go button. So once you're on the website, guys, you just want to search for I downgrade. So there it is, guys, I downgrade. Okay, so you want to just click install. Okay, so once that, um, once that install bar is, uh, the download bar is finished, it's going to basically tell you to uh, download a, uh, it's going to basically download to ask you to download a profile. So just make sure you click allow on that profile. Okay, guys. Um, but other than that, the steps are super easy. Just follow along with me. So, um, yeah, basically the profile is going to be an installer profile profile for the actual iDowngrade app. But, uh, yeah, other than that, guys, super easy to do. So just follow my instructions. You'll be good to go. Okay. So, um, like I said, once this download bar is finished, it's going to hit you with this message right here. Um, yeah, so you want to just click allow close. Then you want to go to your settings. It's going to say profile download. You just tap on that. So there it is, downgrade any apps or iOS version on all iOS devices. Okay, that's exactly what we want. So just click the install button, um, enter in your passcode quick there. Uh, click next, install, install, done. So I basically just updated the iDowngrade tool on my device. So I'm going to pop that open, guys. Um, and basically it's just in sandbox mode, okay, guys? So we're going to have to get it out of sandbox mode. So what you guys have to do is click the go button twice. Once you click the go button a second time, it's going to take you to the installation wizard. Now, once you're in the installation wizard, you basically have to install all of the apps and do exactly what their instructions say. Once you install the apps and complete their exact instructions, um, it's basically going to initiate a break in the code, which begins transferring the files for the iDowngrade app over to your device. Within 30 minutes of completing the installation instructions, the app will load with all the features working. If it doesn't load within 30 minutes, you did something wrong, you need to go back, install the apps, do exactly what their instructions say again, and you will be good to go. Okay, guys? So just take your time with the guys, be patient, and then you will get access to the iDowngrade tool. Um, so like I said, guys, just make sure to pay attention to what each individual app's instructions say to do. Okay? Um, so guys... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do those steps right now. So while you guys are waiting, um, but for the sake of keeping this video short and sweet, I'm going to, um, just leave that part out. So you guys do that on your own and, um, I'm going to cut right now and I'm going to show you guys the eye downgrade tool worked, um, in my settings. Okay guys. So I'll be right back. Do not leave. All right guys. So I just finished all the installation steps on the eye downgrade tool and I just successfully downgraded my iPhone down to iOS 15. Okay, guys. So check this out. I'm all the way back on iOS 15. Um, so yeah, guys. All you guys got to do is just uh, complete the installation steps, uh, do everything that it says um, on the i downgrade tool, and then it'll just it's simply one button press. You just click downgrade now, and yeah, guys. As you guys can see, I still have all the uh, my capacity still used up so you guys can see i did not lose any data it literally took me like less than 20 minutes to do this okay guys so thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy it